Iowa just grows corn. But the truth is, corn grows Iowa. Brought to you by Iowa's corn farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and the Iowa Corn Promotion Board. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Hyatt Regency on this uh, this 4th of July weekend. Oh, wait a minute. I guess it isn't the 4th of July, but it sure felt like it today. Man, oh, man, what a beautiful day in Johnson County and, and around uh, Iowa. What, 72, I think, or 73 it got up to. That's amazing. Uh, I got to believe we're going to pay for it uh, sometime in March or April. I, I remember when I was just a lad, the 18-inch snowfall we had around April 20th, and I'm not hoping for that. But uh, in any event, uh, it's great inside, it's great outside, and uh, thank you all for joining us for our final Hawk Talk with Coach uh, Fran McCaffrey for this season. The Hawks head off to uh, Minneapolis tomorrow, and they'll play on Thursday night, the opening round of the Big Ten Tournament. We'll talk about that. Uh, you know, we get to this time of the year, and I always think back, you know, it's really a tale of two seasons. You go back to... Uh, mid-November and uh, so many unknowns so many question marks for pure freshmen you knew were going to play uh, two transfer portal pickups in Ben Cricky and uh, Evan Bronze and uh, obviously both were heralded at their previous institutions but how how would their games uh, transcend transform to the Big Ten uh, the rigors of the Big Ten basketball season which uh, as we all know uh, reached 20 games last night uh, and then uh, the returnees you know Tony Perkins uh, coming back Patrick McCaffrey uh, coming back Peyton Sanford obviously uh, turned out to be Iowa's leading scorer on the year so when you you put it all together last November, uh, the, the many question marks were answered. Uh, the Hawkeyes got to 18 wins. Disappointing loss last night after a seven, eight day layoff. Uh, if that was a factor, who knows? Who cares? Really, the players don't. They uh, came out and, and didn't score a point for the first five minutes of the game. And that was unfortunate. Uh, the good news was Illinois only got 10. And so the Hawks were right there. But the, uh, the lead swelled to 21 midway through the first half before uh, uh, Brock Harding popped off the bench and, uh, and, and gave the Hawks a spark, as did uh, uh, Laji Dembele, who we'll hear from uh, a little bit later on. Laji always uh, a spark plug when he comes in. And so uh, those, those two of those freshmen, of course, Owen, Owen Freeman has had a solid season, and Price Sanford has been playing extended minutes. Those all four contributed again last night. Uh, ben Cricky uh, has been solid way more often than not, had, has had a solid year. Uh, Evan Bronze is filled in where needed. And, of course, the three regulars, Perkins and uh, uh, Patrick and uh, um, uh, Peyton, have, have done a, a great job uh, uh, all season long. Uh, Iowa's uh, three leading point scorers, leading rebounders. And uh, when you add it all up, it's it's 18 and 13. You'd like to be better, uh, but it is what it is. And, and the Hawks move on now to take on uh, maybe the hottest team in the Big Ten of the Ohio State Buckeyes coming up Thursday night or Thursday afternoon, a 5:30 game from the Target Center. And, and who knows, the Iowa men can scrape a little of that magic off the floor that the Hawkeye women just got done uh, uh, displaying on the on the hardwood of the Target Center, led by Caitlin Clark and uh, Gabby Marshall and uh, and Kate Martin and, and of course Hannah Stolke. What a game she had yesterday! Congratulations again to uh, Coach Bluter and the Hawkeye women. With that, I welcome in my broadcast partner, uh, former Hawkeye great and NBA World Champion Bobby Hanson. Uh, Bobby, uh, those games last night, games like last night, are tough tough to get through, but that's the reality. Uh, it, it, it's a it's a long year. Uh, you have great moments, you have a lot of solid moments, and you have some disappointing moments. And uh, what I love about last night is uh, with a sold-out house, 15,000 people there uh, really cheering the Hawkeyes on is uh, they've got something to build on. You come back from 21 against an opponent like Illinois with all the talent that the Illini have. I mean, I, I said a few weeks ago that when they, they got on a little bit of a roll, they've been solid all year. This is a team that can make the Elite Eight. Uh, they're definitely a Sweet 16 contender uh, with all of that veteran upper-class leadership. 
Absolutely. You're talking about Illinois. Yeah, yeah. They, got, they got a score. They're a first-team All-Big Ten player in uh, Terrence Shannon, Jr., who uh, the lefty really got it going early, and he, he looked like he was on a mission. He got out in the open court with that left hand. You really have to concentrate on stopping the basketball, make him give it up, and he just plowed his way through, just powered his way through the, the defense there and, and got off to a quick start, and that got the whole team going. It did. I, I thought, Gary, there, yeah, and Coleman Hawkins didn't really hurt the Hawkeyes uh, in, in that game, but but, uh, yeah, it was rebounding. I mean, when, when you look at the numbers there, the Hawkeyes got out rebounded, couldn't make a shot. I mean, it, the positive was Brock Harding, as you mentioned. Uh, the young guy got in there and plays fearless and had 6.6 .6 assists in the first half, made a nice three-pointer in there, but really brought some energy. and A couple and steals, too, that still led the baskets. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he just kind of did everything he could do. And, unfortunately, just an off night uh, for Tony Perkins when you really needed uh, Tony to, to have one of them Tony Perkins Type, type, per, Tony Perkins type games where he does it all but uh, just was out of sorts got the couple fouls had to go to the bench and uh, he missed some layups and he really got sideways a little bit but the Hawks battled you know they, they battled all, all evening long and second half Peyton got going with the three-point shot he joins the thousand point club I think we failed to mention that last night but that's three thousand point scores that we have on this basketball team now and uh, so that, that's a good news along with Patrick so um, yeah yeah yeah, congratulations. Sure. It, it, thank you, Lucy. Yeah. Or a guy, I think that's 54th player that Peyton is to, to join that 1,000-point club. So uh, great crowd. Yeah, the uh, the ladies came back from Minneapolis. They were in attendance. And once again, let me add my congratulations to, to Lisa and her staff on, on the, the season that they've had so far and the, the work that they did up there. It's been, been a lot of fun to just watch them. And uh, wasn't relaxing, I, I could tell you that. Mary and I were watching it. It was an intense game here yesterday afternoon. And and had to turn around and get ready for the Hawkeye uh, Illinois game, another intense game. So, um, yeah, it's always always a tough one there when, when you play Illinois. But it was the rebounding that got the Hawkeyes. Took really good care of the ball. Just five turnovers yeah. in the game. You, you, you have a, really have a good shot to win the game in that. But that's correctable. You, you can uh, you can get in there. But uh, Laji Dembele, our man right there, we'll be talking to later, did a nice job rebounding the basketball. He'll get in there and scrap out some offensive boards. So, um, thinking about it today, Gary, preparing, looking at Ohio State, you got to forget about what's happened in the past. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing we can do about that. You got to go into Minneapolis with the right attitude. Nobody felt good after that game yesterday, but uh, forget about it. And, and uh, it's a new season, is, is what it is right right now. And uh, you really have to play with a sense of urgency. And uh, it's one and done from here on out. That's why I mentioned way back in November when the first season started. Now it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Everybody's 0-0. Oh oh. I think the Hawks know they have to not run the table uh, this week in Minneapolis to get in the NCAA tournament. They certainly have to get to Saturday, and uh, Sunday would be nice if they could make it that far, and they're certainly capable of that with uh, one of the top three scoring offenses in the game. You know, I thought the irony of ironies last night was Coleman Hawkins uh, drilled the Hawks for 30 in Champaign a couple weeks ago. And uh, I don't want to say he couldn't fire a shot last. He didn't play much in the second half. Brad Underwood had a, had a good unit out there, and he rode that horse till, uh, uh, to the finish line. But uh, it's, uh, it's uh, I think, emblematic of Illinois that when uh, – and, and Shannon, the Hawks held Shannon down uh, in, in uh, Champaign-Urban, and he was coming off a 35-point, 11-rebound yeah. game. So isn't this great game funny how uh, one night a guy steps? And we've seen that with Perkins and Peyton and Patrick and uh, uh, Owen Freeman. I mean, he was just pounded on last night. Still got 8.8 rebounds, but uh, that's the great thing about college basketball. Caitlin off her game yesterday, and who steps up but Hannah? Kate hit the threes late. Gabby with the big block. That's what teammates are all about. And, and Hawkins had a great supporting cast last night. Yeah, he did. And uh, Damask, uh, he, he seemed Marcus. They, yeah, he, he, they were isolating him a little bit. Fifth-year guy from Southern Illinois, Gary A. He had 13 rebounds. Looking at it. Hawkins did have 10 rebounds all the defensive end. Uh, but it, it was Terrence Shannon, 10 out of 19. Ty Rogers got uh, three offensive rebounds in there. But they got a nice team. Uh, big Dane Danger came in, played 15. 15 minutes and that nine points five rebounds so he was, he was the a big X factor yeah he was the aircraft carrier difference inside. maker yeah, yeah he sure was and you know Moretti I like him I, this this is the, I'll go back to my opening comments this Illinois team is deep it's veteran it's talented and they rebound the basketball and I don't know that you and I have ever done a game where an Iowa team missed 42 shots mm -hmm. I mean I 
I went back through several years today and looked at scores and tried to find, well, I mean, maybe they missed 30, but 42? I mean, that, that, so, I mean, I hope the guys look at that and say, hey, that's not us. We'll be different. Uh, the great yeah. thing about the Big Ten tournament is it's a neutral setting. You and I now have been to the, uh, uh, the United Center. We've been to Indianapolis, and now the first time ever for uh, the Big Ten tur men's tournament at, at the Target Center. And uh, I know you've been in that building. I've been in there watching a few games, and it's it's like your typical fantastic NBA setting. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun for the for the team to get in there. And uh, it's not the barn. It's not uh, no. you know the University of Minnesota barn up there. This is you know a somewhat new arena. I think it's probably 30 years old, if not longer, um, older than that. But, uh, yeah, it's a, the slate is clean. Uh, go in there with the right attitude, the right mindset, and, uh, and rebound the basketball. I think that's going to be key uh, for, for every game that we play. And Lodgy, just, Lodgy, you hear that? Rebound, yeah, rebound, rebound, rebound the basketball. Go get Did it. you hear that? Put, put Lodgy in Lodgy there. will go after it. He'll go after <laughs> it. So, yeah, but you got to shoot the ball as well, Gary. You, yeah, you, you can't do. You can't go cold like that in the Hawkeyes. But they weren't forcing shots up there looking at him. You know, Peyton shot 13 threes, but he had to. He had to get those up there to have, a, have an opportunity. The Hawks go seven for 20. 21. Uh, Illinois was 5 of 16, so uh, the ball just wasn't dropping. It wasn't long shots. It was shots around the rim. A couple of dunk attempts. At, Poor uh, Josh Dix. Uh, yeah. At the start of that game, I felt so bad for Josh. He was threes, twos, 17 footers rattling in and then halfway take, down. Halfway down, hop out or yeah. lap around the iron. Uh, you know, uh, I mentioned it's everybody's 0 0 now, uh, regardless. You forget the record no matter what it is in the regular season. Uh, you used to, you were used to playing 82 games. NBA regular season schedules. Uh, you were in the playoffs every year with Utah and, and the Bulls, and uh, there were probably a few season-ending losses that your team suffered. Uh, how do you flush it? Because you know you're going right into the uh, uh, the uh, playoff season or the uh, yeah the series, the playoff series, and you, typically the end of the season to the start of the playoffs is uh, a few short days. How do you flush all that and, and, and refocus? You got a short memory, Gary, uh, and no doubt about it. And you got to stay together. The team has got to help each other out. Mm -hmm. They got to lift each other up, and you got to stay positive. Through this entire process and nobody hang in their head nobody feels sorry for you Gary when, when you get out there so th these kids know they can play better and and uh, they can play better defense they can rebound better they can shoot the ball better and but get, get a great opportunity on Thursday against a team uh, looking at Ohio State they're five and one since they made the coaching change uh, with with Jake deeper uh, now uh, at the helm there he's been on staff for a while but uh, he's done a good job with them so those guys will be ready but um, a couple of guys you really got to pay attention to and I think it's it's a great opportunity to get back at it and, uh, and get some work done here you your your NCAA tournament hopes are in your hands Gary yep. the ball is in your court what are you gonna do with it now you're gonna you know you know feel bad about it and, and not play hard or this team that Fran talks about as a team that's got tremendous character uh, these kids are gonna get after it and uh, nothing less is expected from 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 these guys and we know this coaching staff we know they'll have them ready on Thursday, 5.30 p.m. Thursday afternoon. Here's the uh, the opening round games in the Big Ten Tournament coming up at the uh, Target Center in Minneapolis. There are two games on Wednesday. Uh, the first game, the uh, the eye opener, the curtain raiser, is uh, 14 or 13 seed Rutgers versus 12 seed Maryland. The Terrapins and the Scarlet Knights will take uh, the court at the Target Center at 5:30, to be followed by 14 seed Michigan and 11 seed Penn State. And then on Thursday, first game out of the gate, 11 o'clock Thursday morning, Michigan State, the eight seed, will take on nine seed Minnesota, followed by the Wisconsin Badgers at um, uh, probably early afternoon, 25 minutes after that first game. The, uh, the Badgers will play the winner of Rutgers and Maryland. And then at 5.30, the evening session, the Hawkeyes and Ohio State at 5.30. Our coverage here on the Hawkeye Radio Network starts at 4.30. And the nightcap has the sixth seed, Indiana, taking on the winner of Michigan and Penn State. That brings us to Friday. The uh, quarterfinal rounds, top seed Purdue will play at 11 o'clock against the winner of Michigan State and Minnesota. And then Northwestern, uh, the uh, number four seed, will play uh, early afternoon uh, against either uh, Wisconsin and or the winner of Rutgers and Maryland. 
Uh, the evening session has Illinois, the two seed, playing the winner of Iowa and Ohio State. How interesting would that be for the Hawkeyes to play That's the plan. Uh, Illinois? That's the plan. That's, That's the goal. And I like that plan. And then the nightcap, three seed Nebraska takes on either Indiana uh, uh, or the winner of Michigan and Penn State. I mean, I'm looking at those top four seeds today. Purdue, uh, Illinois, Nebraska, and Northwestern. And you think a year ago, uh, Northwestern had all those injuries. Uh, Nebraska, Freddie has been building that thing brick by brick out in Lincoln. And that's quite a four spot right there. Yeah, yeah. congratulations. Yeah, absolutely. Them. I mean, that was a grind. They, they weren't winning on the road, and then they figured out how to win on the road a little bit. And uh, it, he just put together a team that uh, gelled at the right time. They did. And Northwestern, you know, they got an all-league guard there in Boo Booey, and he can take you a long way. So, yeah, it should be another great Big Ten tournament. Chris Collins has done a great job, g yeah. given, given the injury they've suffered here in the last uh, few weeks. So here we are. Uh, March Madness has arrived, uh, and uh, the Hawks are heading to Minneapolis at the Target Center. We'll talk more about that with Coach McCaffrey when he gets here. Bobby, I see you have the brand-new Watermill Kitchen and Bar menu in front of you. Mm, looking uh, good. It's opened up here in the past few days in this beautifully remodeled facility that is the Hyatt Regency in the Coralville, uh, Iowa River Landing. We're... Uh, uh, got the Iowa River flowing right by us out the back door. It's a beautiful setting. We invite you to uh, get your reservations for summer vacation when you're coming through Iowa City. But in the meantime, the Watermill Kitchen and Bar is now open. And, man, does it look fantastic. Uh, let me give you a couple samples here. Of course, my favorite go-to is the bacon corn chowder soup. Uh, it is uh, all world. It's an award winner. Uh, they got the wedge on the salad bar uh, or on the salad list. Caesar salad, of course. The watermill smash burger. And let me tell you, that's two three ounce Angus patties, honey glazed onions, prairie breeze, arugula, uh, briachi, pickle, uh, and uh, I mean, enough said, okay? They got the barbecue brisket, grilled three cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll throw some bacon on there if you'd like on that grilled cheese. Buttermilk fried chicken, uh, turkey Reuben, and on and on. And they have Bobby's favorite, the bone-in ribeye. Yeah, that, you had your eye on that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah we've got that uh, menu and uh, had one a couple weeks ago to test it out for them. And, uh, Pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was an A+. Plus. So the new kitchen equipment, the, the new ovens, the stoves are, are, are in uh, a first-class condition. All right, the water mill. Bar and Grill. We'll talk more about that as the evening wears on. Matt uh, is our host here, along with the, the best staff around at the Hyatt Regency. This is Hawk Talk with Coach McCaffrey. And uh, our final show, we want to thank the Hyatt Regency Coralville Restaurant and uh, thank them for their service uh, and for their hospitality and their wait staff in particular, the bartenders. Uh, ben has been out outstanding. Each week, they offer a special food menu, some of the items I just mentioned, as well as new cocktails and a $3 draft special. Uh, special. So if you like beer, they got a $3 draft special tonight. Come on down to the Hyatt Regency Coralville. Join us for a great evening in the happening area of Iowa City, Coralville, and North Liberty. That is the Iowa River Landing. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk with Lodging Dembele, who's uh, wrapping up a solid freshman season, a solid day debut year as an Iowa Hawkeye. The young man from New Jersey joins us next on Hawk Talk as we head to uh, Minneapolis Thursday for the Hawks and the Ohio State Buckeyes. This is Hawk Talk from Learfield. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org slash cancer. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri.
If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. Hi, it's your friend, social media. You know where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting, because we all have struggles and challenges, like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. You know, talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to? Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Welcome back to Hawk Talk with Iowa basketball coach Fran McCaffrey. Fran will be joining us shortly and welcome in to our boisterous crowd here at the uh, at the Hyatt Regency. Nice crowd. And great crowds all season long and it was a fun idea uh, piggybacking uh, Lisa and Fran show off each other uh, every Monday night. Lisa's show concluded last week so it's just the McCaffrey show tonight but we've got special guests. We'll get to uh, Lodgy Dembele in a minute. First off we're sponsored by U.S. Cellular as a proud sponsor of the Hawks U.S. Cellular. I want you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us He's from the uh, country of uh, Mali in, uh, in Central Africa. He's played the last two years at St. Benedict's Prep in New Jersey, averaging 16 points, 12 rebounds, uh, steal and a half, a couple block shots, a couple of assists. He, he brings the whole plate with him, the whole menu, and I, I think he had a sparkling freshman year, especially when you're asked to play inside, Bobby, uh, <laughs> in the Big Ten your freshman year. That's a tall order. Yeah, no fear in this kid, though. Uh, every time that Fran has put him in there, he has done something positive. We talk about it all the time. It's a rebound. It's a loose ball. It's a three-pointer. It's a 15-foot jumper. It's a free throw so uh, yeah, I, I think he's off to a great start had, had a really good freshman year so Lodgy how can you believe we're almost to the end of that I guess a regular season now in, in the books and your freshman year how's it gone yeah pretty good like I didn't expect that when uh, I came to college so I thought I was gonna be like sitting on the bench my first year but I feel like you just work and Frank you're gonna put in you in the game so it was it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Fran, Fran yeah. expects everybody to play. I mean, he likes to play everybody. And uh, coach is here now. Uh, hey, Billy, how you doing? Uh, Lodgy Dembele, 6'8", 250-pound freshman uh, forward. Uh, you've been asked to play the post down deep against some of these behemoths like Dane Danger uh, last night. But what I love about you is uh, you fear nothing. I mean, you, you'll take a three. Yeah. You'll go hard to the boards. Uh, uh, at the Indiana game, you knocked a couple guys straight sideways when they came at you. They're going to dunk over the top. Said, not in my territory. And uh, I just like I like your tenacity. And uh, I'm sure you, you, you uh, grew that at an early age. Age. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like defensively, I just try to do my best to not let guys score me like easily to get an easily basket and just let the crowd go on. So I try to do my best in every single position to affect like the shot. That's what I. That's what I do. 
when did you start playing basketball? Elijah, when's the first time you remember that uh, someone handed you a basketball and to try to, I know you probably played soccer down in, in Mali, you got great footwork. So yeah, yeah, talk about I, started, your I started playing soccer first, like as a young kid, that's, that's what we all do from back home. Then my brother was the one who played basketball a lot, so every time I finish my practice, I just go sit down and watch him like playing basketball. And <laughs> one day he just said, told me like, you gotta, you gotta come try basketball because like you're growing, so you're not gonna be able to play soccer at that like with that high and stuff. So I say, nah, not really, because back home we just say basketball is for like girls and boys play soccer. <laughs> really so, good job. Like, yeah. Then one day I tried, then. I was like, you know what? I might just I like switch sport. Yeah, You're I still... like it. You don't have to do a lot. <laughs> then I skipped soccer practice one day. I went to the basketball the practice. So I did one day, and I like it. And then I just told my coach, I'm going to switch sport. Then I switched soccer to basketball. That's how I really started. That's a great story. Yeah. One, day, one day you woke up, and you were 6'6", six, six, right? 230 pounds. <laughs> Lodgy Dembele, who's now 6'8", 250, and uh, concluding his freshman year. What? What was the biggest adjustment for you? I mean, let alone coming here and, and, and uh, growing used to what how we do things in the Midwest. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a little bit different than Newark, it as is. you know, and, and the Big Apple. But on the court, uh, you knew you were coming into one of the best conferences in America, if mm -hmm. not the best top to bottom. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what did you struggle with? What, what, what was the toughest adjustment? I would say the pace and the physicality. Mm -hmm. Because in high school, imagine like you're the biggest and stronger on the court, but like you come to college, you play guys way older than you and like way physical than you. So you have to be used to like leaving the weight room, lift, oh, yeah. make sure like when you get in the game, you're ready because they're going to come at you. I remember the first time that uh, that I met you, mm -hmm. Elijah. We were out there at Seton Hall. The Hawks went out there and uh, Big East Challenge, I think it was, and uh, you were with your coach, I think, and uh, it's like just the physical presence that, that you see with Elijah. It's like, all right, he's going to play. Kids got the body, and, and uh, we'll, we'll check his skill to, uh, later. But where do you want to improve as a player, Elijah, from your freshman year to your sophomore year? So I want to work on my pace, my balance, like make sure – I'm not shot down also like when I'm wide open because right now I feel like I'm missing a lot of shots. I got to work on those and I got to be able to understand the game and like move the pace that they're giving me. So like I, I really want to work on my pace, like understanding the game, what the different they're going to give you. So I'm just trying to work on that this summer. Yeah, ball handling too. Yeah, ball handling. It seems like you're out on yeah. the perimeter and you can drive by people and dunk sure. on them. For sure. Yeah, it's hard to do that when you're under fire and you're trying to learn the game against uh, defenses like Illinois. I mean, that was a tussle last night. Got in that hole early, fought back, mm -hmm. got to within four. So I think we know all about the character of this team. Uh, what are your thoughts heading into a Thursday night up in uh, Minneapolis in the opening round of the Big Ten tournament? It's one and done now. Yeah, we're just preparing like the game like any other game. So we're not doing like anything special. So the coach are doing their job. So we have to do our job also, like make sure we get it ready for Ohio State or whoever we play next. The Hawkeyes uh, beat the Buckeyes by two here in Iowa City. You were a part of that game. What do you remember about Ohio State first time around? And here they come again. They're playing a lot better than they were then. They are. They're on fire right now. And, like, they are pretty tough to beat also. But we just got to prepare and make sure, like, we're ready to play anybody. So we're not doing anything special, as I said. You don't care what the color of the uniform is exactly. right now. Bobby, I like that yeah. attitude. No, whoever put them in front of you, 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 you got to play them. So, I mean, with big Felix Akpara, he's he not Zach Eady, but he's a big man in there. And uh, Zed Key, I know, comes off the bench. Guys, yeah. that you'll be matched up against. What do you remember about that game? What was it? Back on uh, January, I think it was. Uh, Hawks win by two. Back and forth. It was pretty tough. It was pretty tough because... People used to talk a lot about Ohio State, so like, I was excited for the game also. I heard a lot of good stuff about them, so I was trying to make sure I'm mental, like, mentally prepared for the guys, like whoever I'm matching up. And it was pretty fun to, yeah, to win. Yeah, well, like, get the W. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had 15 ties and 10 lead changes. Oh, that was that game, back and, and that forth. That came back in, uh, uh, in uh, actually it was February 2nd, early February, late January, early February. A two-point game at halftime, 
Uh, the Hawks outscored the Buckeyes. The Buckeyes were up by two at half. The Hawks outscored them by four in the second half mm. and win it 79-77. I know this. When Jamison Battle comes your way, you know who he is, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's a guy you want to. Shooter. Yeah, he is a shooter. He'll try and drag you out to that three-point line. But uh, you, you look like you, you love the spacing uh, responsibilities. You play inside, come out on the wing and guard. Uh, yeah. You're learning the zone tendencies versus the man-to-man. -man. Uh, it's a lot for your freshman year. It is, but like that's why we're here for. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've been trying to get lodging on for a couple of weeks. He goes, uh, class. Dolph, Dolph, I got a Monday night class at seven o'clock. I go, well, I'm not going to interrupt that. Uh, spring break now, though. We got him. It, it is. is. Yeah. It is. And this it's is kind of a break. class. You're out in front of the public. This kind of PR, yeah. marketing, communications, yeah. right? I well, love, I love it. I love it. <laughs> the guy speaks five languages fluently. Yeah. Really? Which? What, yeah. What's your favorite language? Uh, Other than English, of course. French, <laughs> my native language, Bambara. Got gotcha. Okay, yeah. give me, give me as as we conclude. Give me a go Hawkeyes in Bambara. Is it? Is that what you said? Give me go Hawkeyes. Agata Hawkeye. Agata uh, Hawkeye. Oh, All right. right. I go. like it. Go Hawks. We're going to use that Thursday night. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. We, Thank we've awesome really job, enjoyed Raji. watching your Thank, friend. Yeah, Laji Dembele, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him a nice hand. He's good in front of a crowd. He's good with a microphone. You may want to consider uh, broadcasting as a major down the road. Thanks, Lodgy. Appreciate it. We finally got Lodgy out here. We talked to all the players now. It's great to get them all out here at one time or another uh, this season. I think Patrick McCaffrey led us off, and Lodgy's wrapping us up. A couple of six, eight, six, nine forwards. Hawk Talk from uh, the Hyatt Regency will continue in a minute. We're brought to you by Bud Light. Anheuser-Busch, proud sponsor of the Hawks. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Uh, Bud Light. And by Wellmark. Attention, Hawk fans who buy your own health insurance. Wellmark is on your side and on the health insurance marketplace. Let's give it up for plans you can afford. Check out wellmark.com slash hoops to compare plans. Coach McCaffrey will be joining us shortly, and we'll be right back here on Hawk Talk from the Hyatt Regency in just a minute, courtesy of Learfield. Only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Our mission at Oaknall is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknall is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknall.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, oh, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Contractors, you're busier than ever this fall, but you've got this. With high-quality building materials from Spawn and Rose, like GAF. Use the Spawn and Rose Visualizer to plan the perfect roof and blend an elegant architectural look with exceptional performance. GAF, we protect what matters the most. With several Spawn and Rose locations nearby, you can focus on life's other important things this fall. Spawn and Rose, buy easier, build better. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. Feel the excitement. 
as NASCAR returns to the Iowa Speedway with Powerball and the Iowa Lottery. Just add the double play bonus to your Powerball ticket for $1, then enter it in the VIP club, and you could win tickets to the sold-out NASCAR race or other exclusive race weekend prizes. Feel the power of NASCAR and double play today. See complete rules and details at IALottery.com slash VIP. Hey, welcome back to Hawk Talk with Coach McCaffrey from the Hyatt Regency. Uh, welcome to Billy Taylor uh, is here tonight. BT uh, Billy, in the house. Yeah, BT from Elon the University, the head coach there. Billy, longtime staff member here at uh, the university. And Patrick McCaffrey's uh, godfather. I'd forgotten that. I see Billy walking out on the floor last night with... <laughs> Mom and dad and uh, yep. and sister and brother and uh, it's great to have Billy back. It sure is. It was so awesome that he could make it. It meant so much to Patrick. I think that's the important thing. They've been very close, obviously, since he was a, a, a little baby. baby. A baby. Yeah. Yes. Well, he was a big baby. He was. <laughs> he was ten pounds. Was he? Yeah. Well, that not as big as Jack. Jack was eleven. Jack but was bigger Jack at was birth 11. than, than yeah. Patrick. Huh? Yeah. Two good sized boys. I mean. Good for Margaret. <laughs> well, how big was Connor? He couldn't have been. He much was little. Big. Was he? Well, seven eleven. Well, yep. comparatively. But he yeah, was. He was. Yeah, comparatively. Um, Hawks are the seventh seed. Coach uh, Thursday afternoon, five thirty. The Ohio State Buckeyes. We'll talk about the Buckeyes in a minute. But a uh, quick review of uh, last night. Bobby and I were talking before you got here. I don't. I'd have to go back a long way to find an Iowa team that missed forty-two shots, and I. And that's I bring it up because it was such an aberration that did, I don't think anybody was prepared for that and credit yeah. Illinois defense to a certain degree. But my goodness. Well, you know, the first two possessions, we had a wide open three. Josh has been on fire. It goes in and out. And then Owen gets a breakaway. You know, it should have been five nothing. Instead, it was eight nothing them. Yeah. And then we, you know, we miss our first 11 shots. Get down 17 to two. So I, you know, I, I give our guys a lot of credit to fight back. You know, we we got it under 10, and then it was right around 10 at halftime. And then, you know, Josh hit the hit the jumper on the inbounds play to cut it to four. And I really thought we were going to get it there. We we got a couple stops in a row. Tony got a couple chances right at the rim. Yeah, it was not the least of which was the dunk attempt, which was a very aggressive move. And I would always recommend he continue to do that. Sure. Uh, you know, not disappointed in that effort at all. So. That you know, I think if that dunk goes in, a couple of those layups go in. The crowds into it. Out of stretch, yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, they made some shots early when we were missing. You know, uh, Shannon in particular, he got out way in transition, and then he hit a couple threes because they didn't make as many threes in the second half. Our defense was pretty good, much better. Yeah, yeah. And like you, you're fond of saying uh, whether it's Shannon, uh, it was last night. He's a handful. Well, he's. He's so explosive in the open floor. There's yeah. very few athletes that quick and fast and powerful. Uh, that's why he's projected to be a top 15 pick. Hmm. You know, he's second in the league in scoring. He's averaging right around 23 points a game. And when he's making jumpers, he's really hard to stop, unless you get five people underneath him. So in transition, when you get two guys back, it's not enough. You get three guys back, it's probably not enough. He's quick yeah. and with the ball, Bobby. Yeah, but positives for the coach, for uh, the Hawkeyes, Fran. Um, we talked about it in the post game. Would that uh, be Brock Harding? I mean, when you put Brock in there, you, he did exactly what you're looking for. You know, it's interesting. He got six and six in the first half, but he missed a couple shots he normally makes. So you know him. He's he's mad at himself. I mean, he he could have had twelve and six, and you know we we could have been up. But the bottom line is. He changed the complexion of that game. He did. And and we had nothing going. I mean, we really had nothing going. We weren't making threes. We weren't making drives. We weren't. We didn't have any post-up game. And we just got some screen wall opportunities. You got Owen involved. You got Lodgy involved. Uh, and, you know, you, you look back and it's like, we're down 21, Dolph. 30 to 9, coach. 30, down 21. Fran, what goes through your mind as a coach, the head coach, sitting there is like, okay, I, I need to do something here. What button well, do you the, push? Well, you, you look at all the different buttons. So you know, yeah. it starts with, okay, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna change personnel, we're gonna change the offense. Okay, so we're gonna maybe run sets versus motion, or we're gonna run 
continuity ball screen action, uh, which is suited for, for Brock uh, and Owen. Uh, and then try to get stops and runouts, try to get some easy baskets in transition. So then you might change the defense too. So, hey, you know, we're not stopping them. Let's, let's try a zone. Let's go. Let's press on every made basket, every yes. dead ball situation. Uh, let's try to have longer possessions, you know, move the ball, keep them on defense, drive the ball, get to the free throw line. But the hardest thing is to start, you know, you get you're down 21, you start quick shooting the ball and try to get it all back at once. We always say, you know, two at a time, you know, let's get it to single digits. And you know, once you get it to single digits, especially with the three-point shot that we did, and yeah. any more, you know, you get it under 10, it's three possessions. And, yeah, and so we had a, we had opportunities there to uh, you know, clearly take the lead, and to their credit, they made some tough shots at that point. They really did. Uh, the fadeaway three by Domas and and the long floater over the top. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, it was 51-47 at that point, and, yeah. and you held Marcus in check for most, for most of, the of the game. So he runs in six straight, including yeah. that, including that rainbow that, three. The rainbow three. I mean, I could. I, I think Peyton was on him. I, he was. There's he was defended well. Say, yeah. Peyton, you should have done this. You should. No, you did everything you should do. Kid made a tough shot. You got to give him. You got to give it to him. Coach, a comment before on Laji on, on his development, the recruiting, and then the development, what he has become an important piece to that reserve role. Well, of, well, the interesting season. thing with, with his recruitment, uh, we, we we watched him in the summer and, and liked him. Uh, didn't know if we'd have a chance at him. You know, he's, he's from Mali. He's playing in New Jersey. Uh, his high school coach is somebody that I know. Ironically, his high school coach was Jay Williams' high school coach. Jay, who's oh. on ESPN, played yeah. at Duke, second pick of the draft. So when I was at Notre Dame, I recruited Jay, and I, Mark Taylor was his coach. Mark Taylor was Lodge's coach. Different school, but same coach. Okay. So, you know, I had a prior relationship with him. You know, one of the other staff members is a good friend of mine. So, uh, you know, we had seen him. Courtney said, I think he's definitely exactly what we're looking for because we were looking for a power forward that could score and uh, had feel because the way we play the way we run the way we run our motion game you got to be able to dribble pass and shoot uh, it's great that he's big and strong but he can put it on the deck he can make a pass the play he made yesterday the high low pass to Ben Cricky when we were struggling to score was a little touch pass right on the money uh, so you know, Courtney went up to see him, and then I went up to see him, and I said, you know, we got to try to close this thing. And uh, he was getting a lot of pressure at that time from uh, Rutgers and Seton Hall. They both mm -hmm. wanted him. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, remember, he's, you know, he's played high school basketball in Jersey, but he's not a Jersey kid. He's not from Jersey. You know, because not only, I don't know if you guys talked about this when he was on, but when you know, he's from originally from Mali, Mali yeah. but he spent a couple, three years in, in Barcelona, Spain. Oh, for so God. that's what's interesting about yeah. him. You know, Played a lot of soccer, he said. Yeah, you know, but back home, you know, he, he spoke the local dialect, but he also spoke French. Still you know, speaks those languages. And then when he was in Spain, obviously he spoke Spanish. Huh. So then he moves to the United States, and now he's speaking English. Well, but good. he was also living in community in New Jersey uh, with Spanish-speaking folks. Told so it wasn't that. really until he got here that everything he's doing is in English. So in the summertime, you know, when he first got here, you know, coaching him, how much is he really understanding? You yeah, know, good you point. Know, we're barking out instruction and putting plays in, and you know, so uh, you know, it's interesting. We we talked about this last night with Billy because his wife Avlon, you know, teaches English as a second language. And she always said, when you're talking to somebody that English is not their first language and you make a point and they shake their head, ask them to repeat it because hmm. they may not be able to. They shake their head because they want you to stop talking to them. <laughs> Interesting. And, and so uh, 
That happened a couple times this summer. <laughs> with Lachi. Lachi had that funny look on his face like, I, don't, I have no idea what you just said. A lot of information. A lot of information. But he wants to please you. Way more information oh, than I need right now. You know, just throw me the ball. I'll shoot it in the hole for you, coach. Yeah, I understand that part. That's what I love about him. He's, yeah. he's fearless in any situation. He'll shoot the three. He'll knock guys down that come at him, think they're going to dunk over the top of him. That ain't happening. His his defensive instincts are really Very impressive, good. and he's and, he, and he's got the strength at this level to hold people off. So who taught he, him that, Fran? Was it high school? Or that coach? Well, he's, he played for a really good high school coach. Mark's okay. terrific. You know, when he played overseas, you know, typically you get pretty good. Not always, but you get pretty good coaching over there. Mm -hmm. They teach you how to play. You know, they they require you to play defense and. Uh, his brother played at UNLV. So That's right. when we were out in San Diego, his brother drove over from, from Vegas and uh, we got a chance to visit with him. And he's working in, he's, he stayed in Las Vegas and is working there. And, you know, he looks just like Lodge. He's a little, he's actually a little bigger, believe it or not. Hmm. And, but they're very close. And so uh, it was great to see him and Lodge was really happy to see him. So. Great that we had the opportunity to go out there. What kind of opportunity does, does uh, Lajie get to go home? I mean, he said he ain't been home in three years. He hasn't seen his mom in a long time. Is it just FaceTime? And yeah, I mean, he talks it? to her. You know, we'd really like to, you know, try to get her over here if we could. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it's it's interesting with him with NIL money because if you're not a, an American citizen, you can't get paid in this country. You have to get paid when you're home. So even if we want to provide opportunities for him to earn money from name, image, and likeness, he has to be out of the country. So uh, the same with Ben Cricky and same with Zach Eady, hmm. and that kind of stuff. Coach, uh, on that note, let's go to uh, Facebook. By the way, I should mention, if you'd like to uh, reach the coach, uh, you can on Twitter, at Gary Dolphin, or on Facebook at facebook.com slash voice of the Hawkeyes. You mentioned uh, uh, NIL, uh, let's see, Kelvin, I believe it is. Yeah, Coach, any words you want to share on the on the lack of funds that you need for recruiting high school and portal players uh, when you compare Iowa to uh, the Blue Bloods? Players now on the team that you want to keep here uh, in the swarm, through the swarm. Uh, I hope everyone donates for you and Lisa, Lisa Bluter, obviously. But uh, we, we've talked about NIL and the transfer portal, how they uh, dovetail together, right or wrong. But it is what it is. It's the reality. So uh, where are you at with the NIL uh, thing in, in general? You know, we have some people working really hard. Uh, you know, the collective folks, you know, Brad Heinrichs. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jordan Montgomery helps in the community. Uh, Scott Brickman uh, is employed by the university, and he's a liaison between the corporate community and our student athletes. Uh, Beth Getz is on board to the extent that she does what she does by NCAA rule. It's not, okay, this is the wild, wild west. Let's just go yeah. get a bunch of money and start throwing it around. No, you know, she obviously is a caretaker of our athletic department and wants very definitely for us to and Lisa to be good but we're going to do it within the framework of the NCAA rules which ironically about a week and a half ago they went out the door when the attorneys general of two states sued the NCAA they basically said okay there's no rules now it literally bottomless legally good. is the wild wild west so if you have a uh, uh, sugar daddy that is, is going to start throwing money around uh, you can go buy whatever you want to buy and what it's done is what you have to be careful of is does it change the focus of what the student athlete is looking for sure is it I want to get paid and I want to start and I want those promises to me uh, the idea of beating somebody out and working and getting better and growing within a program system and staying and sustaining what we have. Like we have something special, I think, moving forward. You look at our freshman class, you look at our sophomore class, we have some really good players. We have players that have a COVID year of eligibility left. You know, whether they choose to take it or not, we will find out. But we've got a really good class coming in. Cooper Koch. Cooper was there yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, I saw Cooper. Was, you know, and Chris Tajo had a fabulous year. 
So we have really good players that not only are really good now, but they're going to continue to get better. So now it's like, okay, do we have to go re-sign our own guys and, and deal with tampering? Because what? how do you define tampering now? There really isn't tampering. Hard to do. And I get text messages all the time. I'm representing these guys, you know, so there's a guy from this school, from that school, from the other school, they're leaving. You know, there's like 13 games left in the season, and they're already sh being shopped by a third party. Amazing. You know, I'm not allowed to talk to them. Yeah. That's where the third party guys come in. So, you know, to go back to the original question, okay, what's the number? What, what, how much do you need? I don't know that there's an answer to that question right now because you're hearing a lot of numbers being thrown around. But how much of it is accurate and how do we confirm? <clears throat> Can you hear, okay, this guy's making $400,000. Is he really? He might be. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I did have conversation with folks that said, oh, you know, very candidly, you know, our base is 150000 a year for our guys. Uh, our top guys and 50000 for our, our, you know, the bottom five guys, you know, on our team. Yeah. So now if, if you start doing the math, you know, you're going to need, you're going to need at least a million dollars, if not more per year in your payroll. The way you know, there's teams in our league who have a payroll of three million. So now those guys are making more than that number, uh -huh. allegedly. Yeah. You know, I have no way of proving that. But what happens is now, well, wait a minute, like if he's making that over there, well, I need to make that here. I need to go there and make it. Or they shot myself and find out if I can. Very similar to the old days when you either looked at, you know, I'm going to stay in college. I'm going to go to the pros. Sure. Well, now you have a third option, right? And that is to go somewhere else for more money. And I think... I think that really turns some of the fans off, you know, because some of the fans say, okay, I'll, I want to contribute because I want to make sure I have a good team, but, you know, I like your team, I like the players you have, and then all of a sudden, they're gone, they're gone, yeah. and you got a bunch of new guys, and you may be good, but you may not be as good. I mean, how many teams have you seen this year with new rosters, many of whom were bought, and they stink? Yeah. And some of them are really good. Some of them put pieces together uh, and are paying a lot of money. And, and you know what? A lot of them are in our league. Yeah. That's Fred, do you, do you see a solution with air quotes there where you get a payroll, as you mentioned, a pool of money, and now you divvy it up and it's controlled by the well, school? Initially, I thought, you know, the only way you could do it is salary cap. Yeah. But that doesn't help. If there's no limit to what someone can make from NIL, there are no rules. Yeah, name, image, and likeness. So the only other thing, Bobby, that I think makes sense is it can't be a one-way street. Okay, so you're a free agent; you can do whatever you want. So I'm 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 married to you, but you can just go do whatever you want. And so, like in other words, like if you need to sign a contract with me, if we're going to pay you, you need to sign a contract. That's what they're doing to pros. So okay, you play for us. You can't go to Ohio State next year. Right now, you can. Yeah. So, to me, that's the solution. A contract. Okay, there's a contract. So, yeah, you get money. That's legal. But you play for us. I want to play for them. No, you can't. Like we said before, LeBron James can't. Sixers can't sign LeBron James. They would love to. They can't. Plays for the Lakers. And when his contract is up, sure. Okay, now he can go sign with anybody he wants. Okay. But that, I think, is, is, is probably the next step. Like, but as far as money, though, way street. yeah, I mean, all this money coming into these universities, are, they got to peel off $3 million here. Well, I, I think Women's basketball, some of the TV basketball. money yeah. will, will, will trickle down, will shift over, yeah. and will take care of the guys. So at least, you know, you're, you're, you're in the conversation. So, you know, maybe you don't leave for a little bit more money. But if somebody says, okay, I'm going to give you a half million dollars, and you're, and you're making less than $50,000, you probably go. Yeah. But if it's close, you might say, I, I, I know what I, I know. I love my coach. I love my teammates. I love my school. I really want to stay. 
but let's make it competitive so you can stay. Yeah. Hot topic. we got to take a something, break. Corey's something, staring at me. Something to be said for allegiance and loyalty, and, uh, yeah. and hopefully more to, more to come. And more to come with Coach McCaffrey and Bobby Hanson uh, here from Hawk Talk at the Hyatt Regency uh, in the Coralville, Iowa River Landing. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll give you a complete U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Uh, obviously, conference tournaments uh, have started, have been going on, and they're going on tonight. Uh, back to the Hyatt in just a minute. Thanks all for tuning in. Thanks for being here tonight. This is Hawk Talk from Learfield and the Hyatt. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. We're back on Hawk Talk from the Hyatt Regency with Coach uh, McCaffrey. Uh, time for a U.S. Bank scoreboard update, and then we'll get back to uh, Twitter. You can reach Coach uh, on Twitter at Gary Dolphin or on uh, Facebook at facebook.com slash voice of the Hawkeyes. Let's look at some of the scores going uh, on in some of the tournaments uh, uh, tonight. Uh, we've got uh, these are all uh, partial scores. Late Oakland leads Cleveland State. 71 to uh, 69. That's in the Horizon League. These are uh, Horizon League. These are conference tournaments. Big Sky Championship. Montana State has a three-point lead on Weber State. Samford leads East Tennessee in the so SoCon, the Southern Conference uh, final. Uh, there's 10 minutes to go in that game. That's a seven-point game in favor of uh, Samford. In the uh, CAA Championship game, uh, is this this year old league, isn't it, Coach? Oh, it's not your old league? Hofstra, Stony Brook? Okay. Well, then, uh, never mind. 
Uh, they're just underway. Uh, the Southland Tournament has Texas A&M uh, and uh, Nichols, uh, New Orleans, Lamar. Towson is playing Charleston. Uh, not much geographical interest here, but uh, James Madison with a good team this year. They won the Sun Belt, beating Arkansas State this evening, 91-79. Uh, and South Dakota State uh, looks like they're qualified for the NCAA Tournament again. South Dakota State beats St. Thomas of Minnesota. 59-49. How about St. Thomas going Division One now with uh, football and basketball? They got a really good coach, Johnny Towers, a good friend of mine. Okay. It's done a fabulous job there. He played there, was an assistant there for a long time. He's, you know, just one of their own, and they just promoted him to be the head coach, and he took him into Division One, which is not easy. Oh. Not easy at all. Well, you know, it was interesting because, if you remember, they were winning so much in the oh, Division yeah. Three league, Big they time. kicked them out. Hmm. National they won so much, they kicked them out of the league. <laughs> I've never heard of that. You're no longer welcome. You win too often. <laughs> yeah, you're too good. Get out of the league. So they said, oh, you know what? You're right. We'll go Division One. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the Twin Cities, essentially they are, right? Well, it's the only, there's only, they're only the second Division One team in the state. For years and years and years, Minnesota is the only Minnesota Division One team in the state. So now they have two. So, uh, uh, not Bemidji, what am I, St. Cloud? No. Is not Division One. I'll be no. dog out. I didn't know that. Minnesota, Duluth, any of those? Nope. Well, and uh, they've got a good financial base up there in that neck of the woods where St. Thomas yeah, it's is. A, it's a pretty campus. Yeah, Margaret, facilities. Uh, live right near there mm. for, you know. Growing up. Well, St. Thomas uh, gave South Dakota State a heck of a game tonight, but lost yeah. by 10. There's some other games later on. Uh, Denver playing Omaha, uh, Milwaukee against Northern Kentucky. That uh, is in the Horizon League. And these uh, it's an exciting time of the year, these conference tournaments. Uh, uh, and we're going to talk about the Big Ten tournament when we, when we come back. But uh, it's the best time of the year. Yeah, I mean, you know, a good portion of my career, I was involved in those games. You know, we, we played in the, you know, the first year they had championship week, we, uh, I was coaching Lehigh in 1988. That was the first year that they decided to put all the championship games on television. So it was a big deal for us because we didn't yeah. have to play on ESPN. Sure. So we played Towson State and, and won that game. Uh, and then when I was at Greensboro, uh, BT was on my staff and you know, Courtney was my point guard. You know, we beat uh, Chattanooga 2001. And then a couple years later, we were in the championship game and lost uh, to Chattanooga. That was 2005. And then at Siena, we played in the championship game four times, lost once my first year to Niagara. Then we won at the next three. Uh, good we, run. Yeah, we had a good run there. But that was a big deal, you know, sure. to, get on, to get on ESPN for your program, for your for league. Smaller schools, absolutely. Uh, you know, and uh, great exposure. It was phenomenal exposure. We had great crowds in the. The old Times Union Center in Albany. That's our U.S. Bank scoreboard update uh, with uh, Coach McCaffrey and yours truly. Let's pause uh, 10 seconds here for station identification. We're at the top of the hour. 10-second ID break uh, before we come back with more Hawk Talk. You're listening to Hawk Talk uh, from the Hyatt Regency. We will go back to Twitter and Facebook for Coach, and we'll preview Ohio State and the Hawkeyes coming up Thursday when we return here to the Hyatt Regency and the uh, Watermill Bar and Grill, and you're invited to come down and check out the new digs, beautifully remodeled. Tonight's Hawk Talk is brought to you by Wellmark. Attention, Hawk fans who buy your own health insurance. Wellmark is on your side and on the health insurance marketplace. Give it up for plans you can afford. Check out wellmark.com slash hoops and compare your health insurance plan. This is Talk Talk with Coach McCaffrey from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. 
nestled on the rolling greens of the iconic Finkbine Golf Course. Bump's Restaurant is open to the public year-round. Whether you're swinging by after a round of golf or just in the neighborhood, Bump's is your go-to spot for scrumptious sandwiches, shareable appetizers, and mouth-watering pizzas. Quench your thirst with our selection of local craft beers. Or let our full bar serve you a refreshing cocktail to toast to your game. Or just because it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Our happy hour from 2 to 6 p.m. is the perfect 19th hole. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to catch our latest daily specials. And here's a little insider secret just for our radio listeners. Thursdays are not to be missed at Bump's Restaurant. It's BOGO Happy Hour. Buy one, get one free on select beverages from our happy hour menu. Whether you're a diehard golfer or just love a great meal with a view, Bump's Restaurant at Finkbine Golf Course is your destination. We're currently open Wednesday through Saturday. Swing on by today. Bump's at Finkbine Golf Course. Great food, great drinks, and the best views in town. See you at Bump's. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. Final Hawk Talk of the uh, year of the basketball season, but that certainly doesn't mean basketball's over. The Hawkeyes are in the Big Ten Tournament at 5.30 on Thursday afternoon against uh, the Ohio State Buckeyes, and we'll be on the air. Bobby and I will greet you at 4.30 on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Uh, drive time hoops from the Target Center in uh, downtown Minneapolis. A great facility, a great downtown uh, Coach, it, it reminds me a lot of Indianapolis because you can walk to a lot of the venues, the, the restaurants and the hotels are all within walking distance, and you can walk down the street to the Target Center. Yeah, and I think that's what the fans really like. I mean, I, pe I think people love going to Chicago, but that's the one thing they don't like. Getting out getting, to the United waiting, waiting for the bus, and yeah. the bus is late, and the bus can't find a parking place, and what time does the bus leave, and you miss the bus, and you got to call an Uber. And you can't get an Uber because everybody else is trying to get an Uber. <laughs> You're a great spokesman for the city of Chicago. <laughs> they got Michigan Avenue and the Miracle Mile, though, right? Yeah, and some people just go there and stay there and don't go to the game. <laughs> well, and that's not a bad idea, except if the Hawks are playing, we want you to yeah. fill the place up. But yeah, but, I, but, but you know, <laughs> Minneapolis has, has hosted the Final Four it has. for that very reason, and, and it's been really good. You know, and all the buildings are connected. If it's that's really right. cold, yeah, that's right. the you stay inside. And mm -hmm. although, although it has, to be honest with you, it's slowed down a little since the pandemic in terms of stuff that's open and shopping, and it's not the same. Sure. Uh, so they're thrilled, I think, to have. <clears throat> obviously, you have the T Wolves, and you have the Twins. They're all downtown now. The Vikings are downtown. The Vikings are downtown. Well, the Final so. Four was at U.S. Bank Stadium, right? Yeah. It, yeah. Okay. I just want to and make then, sure. And then, of course, you know, getting the Final Four, Huge. or uh, getting the Big <clears throat> Ten tournament, you know, because it seemed like we were just on that two two place rotation. Indy, Chicago, Indy, Chicago. I think it's going to go to Detroit here at some point. There's talk of that for yeah, sure. You know what? You know, it went to it went to D.C. and it was moderately successful. It went to the Garden. It's moderately successful, uh, but I think, you know, who knows, might go to L.A., might go to the Staples Center. 
Right. <laughs> Moving forward. Given the footprint of the yeah. conference now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Coach, what do you remember about the uh, the Hawks' two-point win over Ohio State uh, back in early February? What, Crazy what? last possession, if you remember. Uh, the, you know, they missed a shot intentionally. We were up two. Oh, they missed right. a second free throw. That's right. And it was like, I think, about a thousand hands touched the ball. And Tony kicked it out of bounds with uh, the time running off the clock. And that's how we won. But, uh, you know, that, that, that's kind of the interesting thing about Ohio State to me. You know, I just thought it was really peculiar, the timing of firing the head coach, Chris Holtman, who's Chris. a terrific guy Good and a guy. terrific coach. You know, they had a winning record. They had a losing record in the conference. And, you know, so you let the guy go. All right, I get it, you know, and then they win five out of six. And they're sitting there at 19 and 12, you know, looking at an NCAA bid. You know, I think, you know, I think as a coach, you always like the coach to have the opportunity to, sure, there's ebbs and flows. There's ups and downs in a, in a season. You know, you're, you're playing great, then you're not playing so well. You, you get a guy hurt. You lose a couple. Can you can you right the ship? Can you stay together? That that's the fun of it. That's the challenge of it for the fans, for the coach, for the players. At the end of the year, you don't like the guy. You don't like what he did. Yeah. Then you know, go ahead. Yeah, You've got to make a change. Go ahead. Peculiar. But it, I just thought it was really peculiar time. Well, his track there. record speaks for itself. Yeah. And the guy is one wherever. And Diebler was on his staff. Uh, Jake's been on. And his Jake's staff. terrific. Yeah. You know, his brother, of course, was a great player at Ohio John. State. I coached mm -hmm. against him, and he's on staff at mm -hmm. Butler. They're they're recruiting Jack, and, and a great guy. I mean, you know, so basketball family. You know, yeah. it's good. You know, good for Jake. You know, nobody's rooting against him. You know, and he's done a fabulous job, starting with you know the victory over Purdue. You know that that's impressive. <laughs> That'll get your you attention. Know, yeah, I mean, you know, so you know they they have made some changes. They have some guys that were playing a little less, are playing a little bit more, and some guys that were playing a little bit more are playing a little bit less. They're still all playing. They've uh, really but, improved defensively. Yeah, defensively, they're they're battling. I mean, they got a good team. You know, they, they were one of the younger teams in the league. They, I think they started, when we played, I think they started four sophomores, uh, you know, which is rare these days. I and mean, I'm looking out on the floor yesterday, and we got three legitimate freshmen. Yeah. And they got, you know, Gary A, who's a really good player at his third school. You know, you, you, you've got uh, Terrence Shannon. I mean, Garza was, a, was an underclassman. We played against them in, in Vegas. Remember, he played See, for Texas, Texas Tech. Tech. Yeah, that's right. You know, they got, they got an old, an old group, an old talented group. Domask, he's the same age as Patrick. You know, the fifth-year guy, Southern Illinois. Southern transfer. Illinois. Yeah. Patrick's been playing against him since they were in fourth grade. Uh, really good player. I'm still trying to wrap my arms around the fact that he and Jones from Purdue are on the same team at Southern Illinois, weren't they? Well, how about that? You know, just not, not, not to segue into something weird, but the, the coach at that school finished with 19 wins, and they fired him. And his two best players, one plays for Illinois and one plays for Purdue. <laughs> it's, uh, that's the world we live in. we got to take another break. Yeah. We'll come back. Go back to Twitter and uh, Facebook with Coach and uh, with Bobby Hansen. We're having a good time here on the final night for the Hawk Talk, at least for this season, with Coach McCaffrey. More talk about the Buckeyes when we come back on Hawk Talk from Learfield. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa hospitals and clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. 
While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work, too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Contractors, you're busier than ever this fall, but you've got this. With high-quality building materials from Spot and Rose, like GAF, use the Spot and Rose Visualizer to plan the perfect roof and blend an elegant architectural look with exceptional performance. GAF, we protect what matters the most. With several Spot and Rose locations nearby, you can focus on life's other important things this fall. Spot and Rose, buy easier, build better. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bose, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Yes. Standing O for Hawk Talk with Coach McCaffrey, Gary Doff, and Bobby Hanson here at the Hyatt Regency in the Iowa River Landing. We've enjoyed our spot here every Monday, uh, sometimes Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday night, all season long. We've had a great time uh, uh, ponying up with uh, Coach Bluter and, and her show each and every Monday night, uh, primarily. And our final show tonight, but uh, plenty of basketball left. Uh, uh, we're with Coach McCaffrey here at the Hyatt. I uh, want to go to Facebook at facebook.com slash voice of the Hawks. And we go up to Bloomington, Minnesota, where Brent says, uh, Fran, a coach I noticed last night, unlike the, uh, the uh, women's senior night, uh, the Hawkeye men have their ceremony before instead of after the game. Might that be something you'd consider changing in future seasons? I'm coming to the game Thursday. Really excited to see the Hawkeyes. Uh, good luck from the Twin Cities. Uh, well, you moved it to the front of the night uh, for good reason. Yeah, we, we, we've always had it at the front. Uh, first of all, thanks, Brent. Appreciate you coming to see us on Thursday. Uh, to be honest with you, you know, I don't like senior day at all. I'd rather not do it. I'd rather just play the game and honor the seniors at the banquet. At the banquet. Uh, but it had become such a big thing. You don't want to be the one program that doesn't do it. Good point. Uh, and it does give our fans a chance to cheer for the guys that have, yeah. you know, sure. worked hard and, and they've got a chance to watch for four years. And you give them a framed jersey and the families get to come and participate. So, I mean, I, I think... Our administration, our staff does does a very professional job uh, in recognizing not only our senior players but our senior manager Jackson McLaughlin. You know, obviously, you know Jay and and, and Ben and, and, and Tony and Patrick. Obviously, it was emotional for us. But, sure. You know, I've seen many years where you know it, it can be emotional and, and you're ready to play the game the game's important the guys i thought handled it pretty well last night didn't look like because we didn't make any shots for the first three minutes but uh you know i don't like doing it after uh, you know the game's over you know, the game's over uh you know and who knows how the game's going to end up so there's positives and negatives both, both ways. ways yeah uh but you know for many years we didn't do that kind of stuff we just we had a banquet, and, and the players get to speak, and the families get to come, and fans can come if they want to. And you still have the We still have yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, mm. yeah, I, I think the way we do it is pretty good. All right. Thank you, Brent. Anyway, in fact, Brent uh, from Bloomington, coming to the game Thursday. Well, you get to come a new authentic brand gear. Brent's our winner tonight for the Hawk Talk. Uh, most interesting question is selected by our very gifted uh, panel. Uh, here at uh, at the Hyatt Regency, consisting of Bobby, Coach McCaffrey, and myself, and Corey. And Corey. Our, yeah, Corey our, our, Corey's vote doesn't count. 
<laughs> well, he thinks it does, so don't Get don't that tip order it. in, Corey. <laughs> but thanks to our folks at uh, Authentic Brand. This is a great Iowa company out in Perry. Perry Strong, as I like to say, thanks to Clark and his crew. They've been a great supporter of the Hawks for a number of years. You, too, can submit an interesting question for Coach McCaffrey each week on Twitter at Gary Dolphin or on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Voice of the Hawks. And you could win a merch prize pack from Authentic Brand, all things Hawkeyes. Thanks to Haw Authentic Brand for providing our Hawkeye gear uh, all season long. Authentic Brand, a proud partner, not only outfitting our broadcast team, but outfitting thousands of fans on game day. Gear up for game day and every day in officially licensed Hawkeye apparel and accessories from Authentic Brand. We're back to uh, conclude and wrap up our Hawk Talk with Coach McCaffrey right after this from the Hyatt Regency in Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash iowa. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, oh coming through! Yeah. Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Our mission at Oaknall is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknall is located near University of Iowa hospitals and clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknall.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Welcome back to Hawk Talk, our remaining minutes with uh, Coach Fran McCaffrey. A uh, fired up group here. Oh, right? they are. Love it. You can tell it's the bottom of the ninth inning. Uh, we just found out that we have a family here who uh, are the, one of the original owners of the Field of Dreams up in Dyersville. Thanks for being here, hey. dear. Yeah. Awesome. Your husband is at University Hospitals. Did I get that right? He, that's, well, that's okay. That's what I do. I, I, yeah. Well, th ma'am, uh, they can't hear you on the air. We've got 55 radio stations. But here's what I'm going to say. Your husband's a great Hawkeye fan, and they want an autograph from Coach McCaffrey. Absolutely. And we will get that done right after the show, okay? But thanks for being uh, – 
Hey, it's Field of Dreams. spring training going on, college basketball, March Madness, great time of the year. Yeah, Field of Dreams. Thanks for being here, uh, dear. They're staying at the Hyatt. And she walked in on the Hawk Talk show with Coach McCaffrey. That's great. Uh, and we, we appreciate uh, their support. Uh, Bobby, I'm going to go back to Facebook. You want you got a question about Ohio State on Thursday night? I mean, other than what Fran talked about, I mean, Thornton, Roddy Gale, got a good backcourt. Uh, Look at Jameson him. Battle, a young man. Jamo. You you, you uh, recruited hard, and uh, this is a quality team. Yeah, Jameson's really on fire. I mean. Uh, you know, you really have to look at what this team has done in the last six games. Good point. They're five and one. Uh, they have some big wins. They, they blew out Rutgers at Rutgers uh, in their last game. Uh, but you know, battle shooting a ridiculous percentage from three. Thornton's one of the best point guards in our league, certainly maybe in the country. Gale's really good. Yeah, Akpara is a real rim protector. He is. Mahaffey. Uh, Really good player. The kid transferred from Penn State, but uh, you know you got Scotty Middleton had a couple big well, shots. Middleton and Royal are two freshmen, and little by little they've gotten more and more playing time. So those are two guys that Jake has really kind of started to highlight a little bit more. The kid Bonner is a transfer from Baylor. He's old, but he's also playing more. He's a really good player, a guard. Uh, so they, they, they've got depth, they've got size, they've got athletic ability. And there, there's a reason why they've got 19 wins. They're playing really well. Yeah, the old man Zed Key still hanging around. <laughs> you know, his minutes have been cut back, but when he's in there, he's, he's tremendous. He's pr productive, yeah. Really productive. Sure and And he changed his whole body. He used to be kind of that wide body guy. Now he's a lean and mean and fit guy. Uh, but, you know, he, he runs well. He can he score. Does. It's one of those guys, when they put him in, they, they, they run stuff for him. They go to him. And they appreciate that. The players appreciate yeah, that. You know, kind of like Dania from Illinois. You know, he didn't play as much as he used to, but when he's in Big there, they Dania. throw him the ball. They do. Coach uh, Austin on Facebook. Uh, Coach, uh, it, it's difficult coming off a tough loss to go right into the tournament, but how do you keep the players motivated uh, when a shot or a game doesn't go the way they intended it to, particularly with a game, a uh, short turnaround Thursday? Yeah, you know, it's not the first time that's happened. We've had some great wins. We've had some tough losses, close wins, close losses. You know, that's the maturity that you have throughout the course of the year. I mean, we've been doing this, obviously, for a long time, a few months. So, uh, you know, you, you hope to be playing your best basketball in March as we head to the Big Ten tournament and the NCAA tournament. So uh, all right, we got a pretty mature group. We had a good practice today. That's good to hear. Yeah. And Bobby talked about that a little bit earlier before you got here tonight about quick turnaround, flush that loss, get back, especially when you're in the playoffs, uh, the NBA or college. Uh, Nothing you can do about the past. No, that's 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 move on. Now uh, we got a couple minutes left, and I and I want to give you time to think about this. Aaron on Twitter. Coach, you've had some great players in your 14 years here at Iowa. Who would you put on your all McCaffrey era starting five? Now I've got a, a commercial I got to read here, but I want to give you some time to think about that. Okay. All right, so give me give me 30 seconds. We want to thank Iowa Corn, the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series. Iowa Corn promotes values uniquely Iowan. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination to be the best both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation. In corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook and learn how corn grows Iowa. By the way, Matt Tretow is not here tonight, our wonderful general manager at the Hyatt. He and his wife, Jen, are celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary, and they went to Phoenix with the kids for spring break. <laughs> That's why, why Matt, Matt was disappointed he couldn't be here. Yeah, sure he was. Matt's the best. Really, he is. He's he tremendous is. guy. This whole staff is good. Yeah. Okay, we got about 45 seconds. Who are your starting guards well, on the all McCaffrey era team? It's hard to come up with five because we've had more than five guys get drafted. You know, when you start talking about the best players, you know, obviously Garza and Geekin, you know, the, the two that, that for jump sure. out at you. But then, you know, then you have Chris and Wieskamp and Marble and Jack. Mike. They've all been drafted. You know, yeah. Jock led the Big Ten in scoring. Uh, Woodbury, one of the greatest winners ever to wear that jersey. Same with Gasell and Clemens. 
Uh, Jared Utah was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. There's a starting the second 15. Team all American. There's a starting that's 12. A good team. You know, and then how about Jordan Bohannon scoring 2,000 points bad. and leading the, uh, the all-time leader in assists? And Connor McCaffrey was the biggest winner ever. If it, you know, 100, 111 wins. He and he and Jaybo. Hmm. We're out of time. Yeah, we've had fun this year. Thanks, Coach. Always fun. Yeah, Appreciate yeah, you well, guys. See you Thursday. See you Thursday. And we'll talk Thursday on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Good night, everybody, from the Hyatt Regency. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, live from the Hyatt Regency, this has been Hawk Talk with Fran McCaffrey, brought to you by Authentic Brand, the premium label of choice. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. By your local Ford dealers. High V, score big savings with a new High V Perks membership. Iowa Corn, you might think Iowa just grows corn, but the truth is, corn grows Iowa. Brought to you by Iowa's corn farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and the Iowa Corn Promotion Board. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.
from the Hyatt Regency. We will go back to Twitter.